Well, um, in Iowa, we spend a lot of time uh, in the garden. Uh, so much grows here, vegetables of all sorts. So I decided to build a garden catio. Um, I had to use this uh, very uh, thin mesh fence. There's Freya over there checking, checking it out. And these poles are, are tied with, with zip ties. Now these poles come from our woods. We have acres of woods. And um, the one thing about these poles is that we attach them to these uh, metal garden bars. And it gives a kind of resistance, which you need in Iowa, because we have derechos. And, and this fence here, I, 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 went, I, I fixed it so that it's escape proof. There's Siggy uh, in, in the garden now but this fence here lasted through the derecho that we had two years ago and um i have to tell you that uh we were surprised because our house didn't last that much but anyway a garden catio for freya and siggy we'll go inside now and take a closer look we don't have a gate per se we have this mesh fence here and we use these um these clothespins here to uh, to lock it, and uh, there should be another one down here. And then we just uh, open this up like this. I'm gonna climb in. And then put the mesh back like this. And then I get to sit down here and watch them. Uh, there's Siggy back there behind the aronia bush. And there's Freya seeing if she can escape because Freya is an escape artist. And she used to be able to escape, but now she sees the netting and she can. I have to sit down here and watch them for a very good reason. I can't leave them alone. Uh, the issue is that we have hawks, owls, eagles, and osprey. So while the fencing keeps the deer out, it keeps the rabbits out and the cats in, there is always a possibility of attack from the sky. So um, that's your uh, quick tour of my uh, garden catio. I hope you enjoy it.